Hey y'all, how you perking? I hope you perking good. So we have made it to April 2024. <laughs> Hallelujah, here we are. So April 2024 predictions video today. We're going to look into what is it that we can know about April? What's coming up? What do we need a heads up about? What's fixing to go down? Um, give us some insights here we want to know. So that's what we're going to take a look in today. I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive. And in these videos, we take a look at the tea with the tarot. Don't let that run you off. I've got a great track record here on the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the cards over here so I can move this microphone, this microphone, this microphone, right here, right here. Oh, Penelope moving her. We got all our matching purples today because as I'm filming this, it is literally, I don't know if I can get my screen to freaking show it. It's 4.08 p.m. You're not going to be able to see this. Here we go. 4.08 p.m. on March 31st. So, aka today right now is Easter Sunday here. So, if anybody out there celebrates Easter, then happy Easter to y'all. I guess belated Easter by the time you see this video. Um, I'm hoping to get it up tomorrow, April 1st. So, I guess happy April Fool's Day to people as well. <laughs> there we go. We're going to get out all of those happy whatevers. So, anywho, we've made it to April and we're going to take a look at what we can know to give us some insights about April coming up as always this is all alleged just my interpretation all alleged just my interpretation and we're gonna look at all different kind of categories as we always do looking at politics looking at the economy looking at health and wellness and anything else that we can know should know need to know um and there's you know always a bunch that comes up in these because this uh I always do this internationally so for all of our international viewers this is not just limited to the United States here where I'm sitting this is open um, to everywhere all abroad because I know that I've got a lot of y'all here watching too so let's go ahead and get right on into it shall we yes we shall yes Penelope we shall so politics April 2024 <laughs> freaking out about it <laughs> let's see what we can see find out what we can find out what is here for april 2024 in politics okay so uh, this is gonna be you know a bit much which i'm not surprised to see that we keep seeing you know things be a bit much in politics in 2024 here in the states i know this is a presidential election year so that in and of itself is wild and then lord knows whatever's happening anywhere else too so what i'm seeing up here i'm seeing this emperor figure which is a very very strong figure in the political scene in this upright position here we've got a knight of cups coming towards this in an upright and a seven of pinnacles here in an upright as well so this is kind of showing that there's something here relative to this person who is currently sitting in a strong position but there's something here that's like this has been a long time coming a long time brewing and in april there's about to be something that um gives it a little slack uh or helps it out a little so whoever this person is i don't know if they're in a pinch or anything right now but whatever we're seeing around this i'm seeing something kind of come through to be helpful for this person in april so um I don't know if this is like a breakthrough or if this is like something, some seeds that have been planted in the past that it's like now those are ripe to kind of present them and bring them out now. It's like, yeah, we couldn't really bring that out before. It was a little premature. It was a little too early. Things weren't ready yet, but now it's ready, you know, unleash the Kraken kind of thing. Um, and so I'm seeing someone here kind of coming into a bit more of a power stride in April because of something like that so 
Very interesting uh, to see how that's going to come through. It doesn't look like it comes through because of this person. It comes through on behalf of this person to assist this person, but it's another person that's bringing this in. So there's somebody else that's bringing in the good fortune, ushering this in. It's somebody else that has this gift or this breakthrough or this insight or whatever, and they're the one that's bringing this in um, so just putting that out there down here though um, we've got our world card in reverse our judgment card also in reverse and then our three of cups upright so um, this is quite a interesting scenario here uh, because this is like in some sort of situation politically speaking in April something's going to fall apart, but people are going to be okay with that. <laughs> so th that's why it's kind of wild to see. Usually when things are falling apart, people are like, oh, not again, more shit falling apart. I can't take anything else, you know, whatever. But in this case, it's like, all right, that's a wrap. You know, we can go ahead and tie a bow around this. This wasn't working out. You know, some bad calls were made and let's go ahead and, and, try to finish this up and people are celebrating it I would caution them in terms of celebrating too soon um you know it's one of those things of it's not over till it's over and whatever this p political situation is down here that they're referring to even if they're tying a bow around it the world card here is in reverse which means it could look like it's over, but it could po potentially be a false ending. Um, you know how sometimes things end, and it looks like it's the end of a chapter, but then as things progress forward, you realize, oh shit, was that actually the end of a chapter? Or was that actually sneakily the beginning of a new chapter? Um, and so that's kind of the vibe that this is giving. It may end one type of chapter but it may be the beginning of something new so uh these people that would want to celebrate over that i would caution them um about celebrating too hastily here um they might want to just hold out and wait a little bit longer and see what this is going to develop into because um this thing could go somewhere it could grow new legs <laughs> so just putting that out there too let's see what else about politics in april 2024 are we allowed to know here spirit guys what else about politics april 2024 are we allowed to know let's see here let's see here mm. Ooh. okay so uh this is like a whole new <laughs> a whole new game here um possibly a whole new can of worms <laughs> so this is like yeah something new is gonna go going to open up in april 2024 and it's gonna kind of change the playing field a bit change the game as it were a bit and the wheel of fortune upright is kind of you know it's a strong way to say this but i mean i, I say what i see um it's kind of a, a faded destined type of thing and so whatever this is that kind of opens things up it's kind of like hey this is how the cookie crumbles this is the way that we're going we're following this direction we're following this path and this is where the path leads and so yeah this is a nearly unavoidable thing like you know there's always free will and stuff but sometimes with you know the collective we put so much collective energy into a certain potential that it would be very hard to steer that potential away in a different direction unless we all use collective energy to steer it away and so this looks like somehow collectively this is the way that this is most likely to manifest and most likely to not have a different way of this going and so this is going to be a, a 
a bit of a game changer in a way, um, politically. Again, something new on the horizon, shifting things up, shifting some energy. Seems like it's kind of destined to go in this direction. Let's just check out a little piece more. This is something that does bring some people some anxiety, so we're just going to be clear about that. We don't have to fear monger here or anything, but we are going to be clear that this situation will bring some people um, some anxiety. So if you find that you end up being in this camp, if I end up being in this camp, if any of us ends up being in this camp, then let's find ways to take care of ourselves through that, to, to navigate that as best as we can. Um, it does look like this will entail some person, most likely a male, um, but it doesn't always have to be a male just because it's a King of Pentacles energy. That could just be a very divine masculine vibe, um, but most likely a a kind of dominant male energy coming through um, in this scenario and like really having some sort of power p plays in here and again this is a this is a newness it's like okay we're we're carving something out we're 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 creating something new this is this is new directions new opportunities um new storylines uh so Ooh, this, this could, this could be, you know, a bit of a big deal. I was shuffling and then this kind of flipped over like that. So I'm going to take it. Um, it could be a bit of a, a big deal where this goes. Yeah. With these two reversals, a two of wands in reverse and a hermit card in reverse, there's going to be some people that don't really know how to react to this. Um, and when I'm talking about people, I don't mean like us here on the ground. I mean, like if this is political, there's going to be people who are also in the political sphere that are like, how do we deal with this? Is there a way that we can run around and do damage control? Is there a way that we can run a, run around and make sure that we're in control of the narrative that goes out around this? Is there a way that we can make sure that we have control over how people perceive this situation? So we're probably going to see a lot of, um, Ooh, I hate to say the, the words, but like what came to my mind was media interference of people trying to get ahead of the story and presenting it the way they want it to be presented. Um, and so, you know, pay close attention to a multitude of sources as whatever this is comes out. Please don't get your news from just one source as this comes out. Please look at, you know, all different sides of the political spectrum, how they're saying it, how they're pitching it. If you find some independent, um, homegrown type folks, like, I don't know, podcasters or whatever, um, that have a way of pitching this and couching this, l listen to them as well. Take all sides in together and then see what you think and feel about it in terms of your own discernment, your own internal intuition. Um, because this, this could, this could get maybe heated. I mean, we're, we're seeing these wands energies coming through right here. I mean, that wands are always kind of pretty fiery here. We've got, we've got some fiery energies going on here. Um, and so that, that's important to note even with the hermit card he's got a staff which is just like with these wands energies and so there's some sort of an ambition there um some sort of an intention there um so this is this is high intentionality here that we will see um and it's very important that we pay close attention to whatever's going to be going on here one last card on it one last card Ooh, another wands card and it's the ten of wands in reverse so i'm telling y'all this is about passions intentions focus um could get fiery which means there could be a lot of as i was literally about to say <clears throat> a lot of explosive opinions about this it's like making me choke up <coughs> a lot of explosive opinions about this um so much so that my throat chakra was literally not having it just now as i was trying to say that um so april could be a saucy saucy fucking month go figure go figure there's people like me here my birthday's in april aries girl that's saucy and then let's not forget those people that come after me 
here in April, you Taurus folks, y'all are saucy too, okay? I know you're, I know you're not uh, a fire sign, but you know you're stubborn and saucy too, okay, Tauruses? So, um, we're we're gonna see the literal energy of the month, the astrology of the month coming out in this. Um, so wild this makes me think um somebody in one of my recent private uh readings was saying that march 24th and 25th was a lunar eclipse and that there's actually a solar eclipse on april 8th and she was kind of wondering about you know the impacts of having the march 24th and 25th lunar eclipse and now the um april 8th solar eclipse and kind of seeing you know how is that really gonna play out with us here in April, especially the beginning of the month. Um, and so I'm thinking about, you know, making a video on that just to kind of check and see. And especially now that I'm seeing all this fiery energy here, um, it might benefit us to look into that. Uh, so let me know what y'all think too, um, in the comments about that, because shoo -woo. Uh, so let me pull this up, reshuffle, we got a lot of cards here, I want to reshuffle them and so we can pull more cards, um, to figure out what else, April 2024, all your little fun surprises, what else, um, so, and by the way, if y'all stay to the end of the video today, there will be a surprise at the end of the video, a giveaway at the end of the video today. So just want y'all to know there will be a giveaway at the end of the video today. Um, but as I'm shuffling up here, <laughs> this card came out, do we, I'm shuffling, whatever. We're going to save this over here. We're going to use that at, in our next draw because it came out like that. So I'm just going to take that as a sign. We're going to use it. Um, but anyway... As I'm getting shuffled up here for our next category, um, which is the economy, world economy, global economy, U.S. economy, whatever, anything that comes up re relative to economy, which, again, almost always ties into political stuff. So whenever we see crazy political shit coming up here, then it's no surprise when we see um, some interesting uh economical stuff economic stuff whatever the fucking word is um coming up after that as well so we'll, we'll figure that one out um but there will always be a second video to these uh predictions videos so again for anybody that would like to see a second video an extended video after we're finished with this one and we still have a lot more to pull but after we're finished with this one if you if you're interested in seeing the extended video to see what else should we know or could we know that we end up not getting to here then you can become a member of the perk squad um that you can click the blue join button below or the link in the description box it'll take you to the perk squad um and lots of perks there so they're all listed if you click the blue join button it'll describe all of them only it doesn't say that we also do weekly forecasts so every single week we do a forecast of what's coming up that week to give everyone a heads up um that one's not listed on there i ran out of space to list all the perks <laughs> but one of them is that we do video shout outs and so shout out to you one blissful moment shout out to you and thank you for being a member of the perk squad happy to have you here one blissful moment and so shout out to you and thank you for being a member of the perk squad all righty so april 2024 the economy we've shuffled up a lot y'all have seen it y'all have seen it y'all have heard it y'all know we're all shuffled up first Let's flip over this card. <laughs> literally the economy. And I was like, oh, let's save this card. And it's literally a quote unquote money and finance card because it's a pinnacles card in reverse. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, so for people that are like spirit has a sense of humor. Um, case in point, maybe not funny to us so much living it, but uh, cheeky nonetheless. So 
we're we're just we're gonna we're gonna roll with it okay we're gonna roll with it here it is we're rolling with it uh so we do yes see cat right out of the bag a reverse nine of pentacles is our first card our reverse ten of wands and our reverse ten of swords so here's nine ten ten all reversed um and that is that is perhaps not the most powerful way to start this reading uh we kind of already quote unquote predicted that you know no pun intended or whatever if that is even that's not even a pun whatever ignore me um because we said we predicted that with the fact that like economy follows politics when the politics section is real shitting then the economy section can be too and alas here we are uh so this means that the economy is just going to be wild in april okay politics are going to be wild the economy is going to be wild it's going to be a wild month let me write down the word wild because that needs to go in the title or the thumbnail here uh because apparently that is what we're looking at um, so wild, I'm writing it down. Let's not, let's not forget that one. Um, if we could sum up the energy of April in one word, that would be the word. Uh, we are seeing that there's going to be some, uh, I don't even know why I would use this word because I literally don't know about markets and stuff like that. I just say what I see and it just happens to, to be what it is. Um, but I want to use the word volatility, that there will be some volatility uh, in the market in uh, April. And again, I don't even know what word I'm like, what I'm saying here, but that's the word I'm getting. So I'm going to say the word out loud and, and I'm just going to trust spirit to, to take it and run with it. And y'all would know what that what that means. Um, I, I see some of that in April 2024. And I see that there are some moves that um, some people would make that uh, are not going to pay off in April. So there are certain things that people are going to be doing. And when I say people, I mean like upper echelon folks, quote unquote elites, if you will, that they're going to be doing some stuff that they think is a good idea and i don't see that it's gonna pay off in april like not for them anyway which i guess means not for us in a way too i don't i don't know um but that i mean with this it's like greed it's like incompetence and it's like hoarding which is kind of similar to greed if we're talking about like hoarding resources hoarding money things like that it has a similar vibe here um but that kind of like squirreling away all the nuts but in an incompetent way that they're going to be doing something here that actually does not serve them and so i don't know what what sneaky ideas they have behind the scenes ideas they have but it looks like it's going to kind of backfire on them which I don't know, like, at face value, that kind of sounds cool to me, <laughs> just because, I guess, I'm like, haha, that's what you get, you know, for trying to be sneaky, or whatever, but I, I don't know if I should be that way, because what if the, it backfiring on them means that it backfires on us, too, I don't know, um, so I'm not going to get too excited about that too fast, because I don't want to be a dumbass and have it, you know, come back on us, but I do see that, that type of thing, it looks like they're trying to make some plans, be sneaky about something, so they, they, they make these certain calls, they make these certain decisions, they, they follow through in these certain plans, and it doesn't actually pay off for them um, in April and I don't know how much of that we will get to know about but I think that there will be signs so it may not be something that is publicly broadcasted for everyone to know about but I think for those people who are watching and they know what the signs are and they know what they're looking for they will be able to see those signs they will be able to sniff out like oh there's something right there that that didn't p pass the sniff test and i can tell something right there is making this one hurt or this one wouldn't have done that move unless they were you know feeling squeezed for it or this one wouldn't have made that decision unless they were feeling a little bit paranoid about something or you know that person wouldn't have sold to this or done this thing unless they were feeling threatened by so and so you know that kind of a thing for people that know what to look out for so i'd say if you're one of those people that know what to look out for please do first of all 
and then please come back into the comment sections for us and tell us for those of us that do not follow those things and do not know what to look for or listen out for and please fill us in and let us know um based on your observations if you if you're one of those in the know people um very very interesting here so bottom row we've got our page of swords in reverse we've got our three of cups upright and we've got our queen of cups in reverse so this is a very strange energy where we have a celebratory card here in the middle but then we've got our two reversals that's kind of confusion and you know emotionally burned out uh so how in the world do you get emotional burnout and confusion in the midst of celebration <laughs> we're gonna take some some looks into this and be like all right spirit guides please tell us what is going on about this that makes it a thing Ooh, y'all remember earlier the political stuff coming up relative to this person and the stuff that was political that's like hey it's just it's on its journey it's happening it's quote-unquote faded and destined at this point the co collective whether they intended to or not selected this direction and we're, we're on it um that ship has already left that little situation here is gonna come up here so this is one of those times that i'm sitting here like i can read what this says but this is only like two pieces of a bigger puzzle and it's kind of like the shirt, like, yeah, I might get a couple of little pieces here, but I don't have all the whole pattern together, then it's going to be kind of hard to put, put things together. So this is interesting. Literally, we have a confusion card and emotional draining card, but in the middle of it, it is revolving around a celebration card. And the somehow, somehow the context that describes the situation that's supposed to give some more context and foundation to the situation is this crazy political stuff that we already saw earlier. And y'all saw how many times I shuffled this damn deck before we started going into this. Y'all saw it. Y'all heard it. I cannot make this up. So, and I say always, like, again, the political stuff and the economy stuff very tied together, very often tied together. So somehow, whatever this situation is it some it, it affects the economy this political situation here affects the economy in april 2024 and it puts us in a weird position where we've got confusion and people feeling emotionally drained amidst celebration so again when i was talking about earlier about how like oh some people celebrating but maybe calm down on that until you know for sure what's going on um or, and then people that are like yay there's an end to this but be sure to be careful because that could be the beginning of a new chapter and like some people feeling really good about it but some people not and then you know ooh, we get a switcheroo like all that weirdness is literally reflected here because these two down this upright it's all reflected here and it all revolves around this and it's going to impact the economy so eyes and ears alert people be aware in april um i don't even know what to to look for given that again i don't know a lot about the economy um but i guess if i don't know a lot about the economy i'm not like playing into it too heavily myself so i again we're relying on you folks that that know a lot about this and you see these things and you're like ooh, let me type and explain um what you're looking at here if you if you have some sense of it now go ahead let us know if later on as things start to unfold you see this playing out and you're like oh my god here it is it's unfolding now this is what's happening boom 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 boom, boom. write it to us let us know um we love getting those kind of inside uh tidbits from people who are you know paying attention in these aspects are your interests so um wow this is this is pr pretty here i'm gonna say it again pretty wild uh for april 2024 i'm, I'm telling you i'm telling you somebody unchained uh a beast in this this month Woo. uh let's go ahead and shuffle these up and look into another category because I'm noticing that we're already close to the 30 minute mark and we haven't even gotten to our last category here. So as I'm shuffling up, 
um if you'd like a private reading then you can um book a private reading on my website beastalksintero.com to book a private reading um there's 15 minute readings 30 minute 45 minute readings all depending on what you feel most comfortable for your price point uh so it's there to be you know accessible in that way uh so in addition to private readings i also do reiki energy healing for people who want to have a tune up a cleanse um check on the, the status of your chakras check on kind of where things are any energetic insights that i might get um as i'm working on clearing some energy for you all of that is also there beastalksandtarot.com also life coaching um for people who are just like i need help kind of figuring things out and getting getting on the right path getting on the right foot and stuff like that i can help you with that um and then anyone wanting to read the tarot cards oh we're doing it again save this over here anyone wanting to read the tarot cards the way i read the cards then by all means i've got a tarot tutoring uh service on my website too and i can teach you how i read the cards so all of that beasttalksandtarot.com dot com i need to stop like randomly bursting out in a song anybody else do that i know i'm not the only one here okay i'm not the only one that just randomly bursts into like not real song like with a real beautiful singing voice but like fake dumb shit songs like that uh throughout any given day multiple times a day i'm not the only one please all weird people in my audience that know you do the same thing go ahead raise your hand raise your hand let us know we want, <laughs> we want to see the community among us uh, so here we go let's pull over this card what we're looking at is health wellness anything else that we can know relative to that for april 2024 and let's see how they started us off boom we've got an upright knight of wands followed by reverse lovers card king of cups in reverse now second row five of cups upright ten of swords in reverse and judgment card in reverse so what we're looking at here uh health and wellness and all of those things in april this is gonna be a, a weird mix of a month um because this is like yeah no we're gonna have some some really good health like health and wellness we're gonna have some things going going just fine just like really plowing through there like you know people that have been in a weird sicky season like ugh, you know coughing and messed up and whatever things are gonna start flowing and going smooth but er, pump the brakes because our lovers card reverse and our king of cups card reverse is like nope not for everybody for some people this is gonna be a weird season Season. I don't know if there's something in particular going around y'all with kids tend to know what's going around so y'all fill us in um, people with kids kids are petri dishes for diseases sometimes <laughs> I love them to pieces I've got you know two nieces and two nephews but I'm letting you know that the kids are petri dishes <laughs> and so for people that have kids or work in the school system you tend to know what's going around so keep us all informed because there's something here um, that it's referring to so for some people we're getting better for some people we're, we're gonna tote around some crud uh so let's be on the watch out for that but if we're talking in a broader sense here again with our five of cups upright our ten of swords in reverse and our judgment card in reverse there's something here that looks weird um and it's a it's a broader thing like i don't know if it's a maybe a public health kind of thing um it looks like that there would be something here that people would get uh overly in control about to the degree that it gets in the way so for example if there's something kind of going around and there's certain guidance that can help people be okay but then some people go way overboard and get way stringent with it and it actually starts causing more stress and stuff than is necessary and it doesn't doesn't end up being all that much helpful that is the kind of thing that i'm actually seeing for april so that's it's really weird i usually see these kinds of for lack of a better way to put it control tactics more in the fall months um 
because those are the months that kind of you're starting to to gear up for you know cold and flu and things like that that people are really trying to get prepared for but i'm actually seeing an energy like that here in april 2024 which is weird because that feels out of place um so let's see if there's any kind of things that they can tell us about this out of place vibe um misplaced energy misplaced direction as it relates to kind of health and wellness you know in the spring here when when usually we're seeing that in the fall okay well you know first of all i guess we'll take <laughs> we'll take that y'all saw that fly out right i don't know if it showed on the camera but certainly flew out here um okay so that was a seven of cups in reverse that flew out an ace of pentacles in reverse and a queen of pentacles in reverse three reversals bad with the good good with the bad two money cards <laughs> um i hate to be the person that that says this kind of thing because i know some people really hate people to say this phrase and i don't want it to be like oh that affects your credibility if you're gonna say that phrase but this is a follow the money vibe you know I, again i say what i see it i'm just like why are we having some weird kind of health control thing in april when usually that's what we see for like cold and flu season in the fall like why would why would we do that there's some kind of a weird follow the money thing going on relative to health and wellness in April. Why in April? I don't know. Why are we doing this in the spring? What's going on here? Is there something that we should be afraid of with like health and wellness that I'm, that I'm not aware of? Is there some sort of a like virus or bacteria going around that we should be concerned about that I'm not, that I just didn't know about yet? Um, that's actually a big deal or something. I, I don't know, but for some reason there's some kind of a follow the money thing here, but it's all around this mixed bag. It's kind of like, yeah, you know, we've got this, we've got some things going on right now you know some things not it's not all that big of a thing but you know there's money in it so let's make something of it and it's like what so i don't know if there were people that were developing certain treatments or whatever and now the treatments are going to be ready in april and so they're like well if the treatments are going to be ready in april we want to go ahead and be able to start selling those treatments and so you know let's find a way to get that word out there that people would need the treatments and it's like but i don't know there's something weird about it um because this feels so out of place this is the wrong time of year for this kind of thing um or maybe it's not i don't know maybe 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 this shit goes down in april all the time i just don't remember seeing this kind of stuff in april as far as i as far as i can remember um this this seems out of place uh but there's some sort of money grab related to health and wellness in april of 2024 once again wild wild why would there be a money grab for health and wellness in april of 2024 wild i'm getting i'm getting messy here literally and figuratively because what the hell we're gonna name this video wild so i don't know what in the world um but let's keep our eyes open and again when we were talking about the discernment using the internal discernment Let's make sure we have that on lock for this because that's, this is interesting. We, we want to make sure that we're running everything by our internal guidance system to just be like, does this pass the sniff test? Does this feel weird to me? Um, does this make sense? Can I research this from all angles and, and it lines up, you know, and, and how much of this can I trust versus how much of this should I, you know, think about and research and, and, you know, marinate on a little bit. Um, it doesn't mean that we have to be totally non-trusting all the time or, or we have to be non-compliant or whatever. It just means, you know, it's okay to try to get more information on things from all kinds of angles. That's okay. Um, and so for those people who are interested in doing that, take your little dive and, and come back and let us know. I did say at the end of this video, there would be a giveaway. So 
I don't want to make myself a liar. I want to remember to do the giveaway here. Um, and then, of course, Perk Squad members, stay tuned after the giveaway here on this video. I'm going to be doing a second video for April 2024 um, predictions, an extended video of what other predictions can we know um, about April 2024. That will be coming up on the Perk Squad here next. So, again, if you want to be a member, just click the blue join button be below or the link in the description box, and it will take you there. Um, so for all current Pert Squad members, I will meet you there uh, so that we can take a look at that. Um, for this giveaway, as I've mentioned before, April is my birthday month. Uh, and so what I've been doing for years now, and I just enjoy doing it, since April's my birthday month, um, I like to give back to y'all as well. It feels, I don't know, it feels fun to me, almost like it's a birthday present for me to, to, to do a giveaway for y'all on my birthday month. I don't know if that sounds ass backwards or if that, if that sounds right. I don't know, but it feels good. And so I've been doing it for years. <laughs> and so we're going to do it again this year. So this is going to be a giveaway where I will choose two winners and these winners um, will have a 15 minute private reading with me um, for free, obviously. So I'm giving away two free tarot readings, two free private tarot readings um, to two individuals. There'll be 15 minute readings. Um, how you enter this giveaway is in the comments below. Just type in the word win. So W-I-N win just type in that word in the comments below and you will be entered for your chance to win um and i will be choosing the two winners um sometime in an upcoming video i want to give you know people enough time to enter so i don't want to you know choose winners like in 24 hours or something because some people you know like I said right now at the time of filming it's Easter Sunday so there's going to be a lot of people that are busy they have family stuff they have work stuff coming up whatever they may not see this video for you know a couple days or something like that so I'm going to give folks some time to see the video and enter for a chance to win if they would like to um, and then I will be randomly selecting two winners based on, again, the comment win in, in the comments down below. Um, and those two winners, um, I will connect with y'all and we will uh, do some 15 minute uh, private tarot readings for free. So a lot of people have liked that in the past because a lot of people who either... Um, weren't sure about whether or not they wanted a reading uh but were able to be like here i'll test the waters without having to 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 pay for it fine for some people that are like literally i have zero flexible income for anything else in the month besides car payments groceries mortgages etc um and then you have a chance to to have a free reading great you know so i like to do a little bit of pro bono work here and there um when i can and so my happy birthday month of April is also a giveaway month for y'all. So, yep. And so, stay tuned for the end of this video. There's always a B-roll. Puppy shenanigans. Silliness abounds. People leaving with a smile. Always feels good to me. So, stay tuned for the B-roll at the end of this video. And then, Perk Squad members, I'm going to see you directly for your extended video. April 2024 predictions. All right. Let's say it one more time. Wild. This month has been wild. This month is going to be wild. All righty. Don't be a stranger. Come back and see me. And I love you, mean it, y'all. <laughs> love me. Love me. I gotta get out of these lights. I'm overheating, going crazy. Love you, mean it. Bye. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? And I guess we can do it, huh? <laughs> Teddy, what are you doing? We're doing, we're doing. <laughs> His little tail. Okay. Teddy, we're doing. <laughs>
with Jig. With Jig. You can jump on the bed. You can do it. He knows he can do it. He just add them. Yeah, see? I'm going to put my pillow at the bottom of the bed. Because this thing moves too much in the bed for me to sleep up there. <laughs> uh, you're funny. Babies.